And then there's Jerry we're show them These are we're the receivers. Show them and once they start it's to so go, huge. it could be they go it's to so the run. Will they go here with the Jets? With the oh, 11th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the New York Jets Actually, I'm going to turn it off my TV. Vector. Tackle Louisville. I really like the buoyant atmosphere so of this draft. It's not as cheerful as wait, the, the live Vector, ones. You know, where everybody's like all like human beings emotional for a while. But here they cut around. As Makai Becton did. At the combine, well, 364 pounds, ran the 40 and 5. Maybe wide lenses have been more to comedy than emotion, too. That's the heaviest You're not player all up in the tears of the fuck guy five, way far away looking at the whole family. Watch this guy playing basketball. It's pretty Becton hilarious. Makai Becton? Why is he so big? Well, yeah, watch it. Is oh, I'll fucking show it. Feet. He Great. was an amazing high school basketball oh, he's gonna, he's gonna player. He's going to play uh, with uh, Kyler Murray. Yeah. Then we talk well, about the easier. combine, as you Damn. see, moving <laughs> into He's got some moves. But, back to the but then it's pretty easy to have. He does have a little footwork. It is oh, shit. 6'7", <laughs> How do you like to have to guard that guy? It's <laughs> not going to be easy. 6'7", 300 plus pounds. Lewis, he's on that this budget. is a guy who came <laughs> people ever since. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, look, he oh. was a tremendous athlete for his size, as you've alluded to. He went to roll. When you get to see that, Man, you make me want to bust out my leftover pizza from Tavore. So I got with that pasta. I lied. I got pizza with the pasta because I wanted to, to undersell how much food I can. Nice. It looked good. Detroit's frozen pizza. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go put my pizza on. Jets general manager. I guess he's celebrating that he got the guy he wanted to. Like, yeah. 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 Maybe it's one of those weird cards. See, now the brake lights are off. And I can promise you, Le'Veon Bell is going to be a big fan as well. He's come from by his strength coach. He said when we got him, he was about 390 pounds. And he couldn't make it I was thinking about, you know, with your sports memorabilia, like if you were CJ, he just bought a bunch of cards with a guy named CJ. He worked his belief off, and now you see what he's become. He is an amazing story. You can show, like, a stockbroker, like, a Wolf of Wall Street. He's just, like, names that are, like, his. So we'll see what happens here, and now we're taking a look at the first of two picks in the first round. Because again, we were supposed to be there. It's like, yeah, it's how you expect to succeed. Yeah, the Raiders are in Las Vegas. Some hope and some of the iconic stars of Las Vegas. There you see John Gruden. Knock on wood uh, if you're with me, John. Knock on wood if you're yeah, with me. Yeah, they think that's just where Mike Mayock, spent a lot they're either going to pick C.D. Lamb or they're going to pick Jerry G. Oh, man. I, 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 I'm a Raiders fan. I love the Raiders are my second favorite team, the Cowboys, so I would like to see the uh, CD Lamb go to the Raiders, but at the same here. time, I, I feel like that's Henderson just a Bermuda Triangle in life, and he shouldn't do that. They need to find a Z it's like sending him to the Clippers. Brown. They were so excited mm -hmm. about that, that pick, and obviously bringing him into the building did not work. I think they find his replacement. So you're right a Cowboys fan. I'm a Steelers fan. I'm a Steelers fan. Patriots fan. Our Daniel Jeremiah is in on yeah. CD Lamb. Uh, not anymore since Tom Brady. Well, I, that. That. <laughs> <laughs> that the I remember watching it. I can confirm that the Patriots is in to Commissioner. Oh. Congratulations, Raiders. Congratulations. This is such a Raiders pick. Well, there you see Henry pick. Ruggs. Daniel, you nailed the position, but not the player. Henry Ruggs is a fascinating player. I did a uh, fake mock draft so for this, and I think that's a mistake. Henry Ruggs, because they're dumb. 
at Alabama. Like the Raiders always make jump picks. Oh, no, so you thought you would? Oh, words, did you win money on this or just? just of the time no, no, no. When he I should have. I should have. But when? To the house. And when he That's celebrates all the those uh, touchdowns, you he's, always saw he's him the fastest wide receiver, so I figured they would just take it out. Oh, that's the very Raiders. That's what they do. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And one weekend, they were supposed to drive in the but same not the best car to the high school tournament. What happened to Deion Sanders? He was feeling under the weather, had the flu, didn't Is go. Is he employed by anyone? He got, was in a one-man crash on. on the highway that trip yes, and was killed okay. in that crash. And Henry Ruggs celebrates his honor throwing up that three every time. The sad Four, story uh, of Deion Sanders. Yes, NFL. John Gruden, very happy that he's got the burner that ran the 4.27, as yeah. is Mike Mayotte. Hi, Mike. Better question Make is sure whatever the happened to Andre Ryan. Right. Yeah. But if you want to talk about an athlete, <laughs> my God, watch what Henry Ruggs does playing that, basketball. I wonder if he burned his house down. Yeah. Yeah. A what did happen to Andre in Bad Moon Rising? He was rising. junkie score, did what went to Kansas City score. <laughs> he's still alive. He's 53 years old. He lives in, oh, he was born in Flint, Michigan. Yeah, must have been still alive. I made billions, so I decided to live in Flint. Life after football. He was a high school football coach from 2006 to 2008, and he was assistant coach at Beecher High School in Flint, Michigan. So he's going to put his waivers hat on, so this just now, he's going to put his in a big box of different hats. I already asked that. <laughs> what? Catch up, uh, we already had the conversation. Oh, shit. So do they? I don't know. He's a guy who can play. I would have to say yes. Or they at least give him like where they might go. Okay, so updates on Andre Risen. He can also give you some special teams if you need became the head coach of a high school football team and did well in Flint, and Michigan, and, look, we was talking to and then he moved on to be the offensive Josh coordinator for an Ann Arbor team that went 0-9. Last year, you put Henry uh, Ruggs on this field, you're going to scare safety out of there. In 2016, 0-9, yeah. To run. And also, <laughs> Darren Waller, tight end, he created the mid-four fours, and now you've got two. But that's a steady record of employment. Got real quick. What are they doing? Why is he wearing a robe, Can by we way? all just take a moment like to acknowledge what we're seeing Strange, here? yeah. Mike Marvin, you of all what are you going to do? Do you like this fashion? He's got a lot of jewelry. He's swagging out in a robe. He is swagging out. He's like uh, Flint Mayweather or something. Michael, that's what you go in the pre-draft meeting. Yeah, and that tells you something about And he's got the light shining right on the on the robe so that it reflects. I, I knew you would appreciate the role. Man, so you know, from Man I, I think that, CJ, no you called Alabama this all the way around. That's going to be a classic Raiders flameout. And now we've gotten four yeah. in it the has last all the five years. Years. Quite frankly, I'm going to make the, a pretty safe bet. We're going to uh, get a fifth one. Jerry Judy coming up more sometime that. in this program. John Ross. But for more on all of this, let's check in with our fine ESPN insider, Adam. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam. I only know the second name. And we have yet to see a single I'm trade. Now, one team really. has traded out of its drafts to make an offer. Same thing the with the Giants at number four. We thought there would be other teams that would move. No one yeah, who's on the clock? top picks for the who? first time since 2015. We're now at a pick right now. You mean like San Francisco? The 49ers are going to trade. They're going to yeah, trade the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, San Francisco. Oh, Tampa Bay. Five seconds. To come up in this draft, there's still a oh, tackle on the board. To get Tom Brady more protection, oh. that would be a logical pick for Tampa Bay, and that's the trade. Tampa to 13. They're oh, showing, Adam, thanks you're showing much. Tristan Wirth. Let's talk about this here for a second. Because Works. obviously Tampa Bay has plenty you of weapons. To Just on the sign floor. Rob Gronkowski. Oh, He's shit. Going to be so 49ers trade to the Buccaneers. My pizza's ready. ready. I get it. Some of those were because Jameson hung on to the ball too long. I'm they, reading the autobiography the of Airbase. Richard Wright, we are the author Tampa Bay and our home of team, the Buccaneers. Native Son and now stuff. He's like a famous African-American author. 
and this is his autobiography and it's like he grows up in notches and like the first story in the book is like him playing with matches in. and just deciding thank to you, see Lieutenant how the, the curtains in his and parents house would seem if they were if they were on fire and he burns down his parents house and almost kills his family inside San Francisco, then the second story is he gets really mad at his father and decides he hates his father when he's when he's like a little kid and he goes and gets a cat and like hangs it in to spite his father and watches it die and shit and I was like, man, is this the Richard Wright or Richard Ramirez? Uh, but no, then he goes to like school and the first day of school he learns all this dirty language and he goes home and writes it all over his parents' new home. It's like one thing after another, you're like, this is like the, this is the devil child. How did he even grow up to be an author? It's like, what the hell happened here? He was raised by his single mother, Richard Wright. And he was going Did he ever say, like, what his parents did that they were like over Vegas? Terrible so kid. So far, the red he seems like a terrible kid. This was his this father seems like kind of a piece of shit, too. His father abandoned him. Well, I mean, did he abandon him because of all that shit? The red carpet. And they are in this thing together, and Tristan Wirfs is now no, the like right. right. so far. This is a guy who was a state reasons. wrestling champion. By the way, he had to shed some 37 pounds to get down to the 285 minimum. He also okay, no, it's, it's very strange, dude. Like, I, this is a strange thing that where he just talked about twice. seeing his father 25 years after the last time he saw his father, Iowa. like when he was and a kid. That he said meeting his father like out on some field, it was like not even meeting like a, a no, man with way, a soul. Explosive? It was like meeting yeah. a, uh, an and animal, a and he thought learner, that like maybe like you see how civilizations gave you a soul over points, time through mind. traditions and shit That's and taught, maybe like taught you how to feel or something. Pounds, he's like, my dad wasn't really, he's like, my dad seemed like way more alien to me. I couldn't explain to him anything, but I don't know. Who knows? It doesn't sound very human. What do you see with this It sounds like it could be a lie. <laughs> in fact, if I had one estimation of everything I've read in this Richard Wright guy's autobiography so far, I'd say it could all seem like a lie, but maybe that's what makes it so extraordinary. Okay, so that book is called uh, Blackboard? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to do it then. Call it my book alive. <laughs> 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 <Lies. laughs> I was thinking if there are any missing persons <laughs> cases from like around 1900 in Memphis, Tennessee, or if they might check out Richard Wright. Yeah, but he's probably using mine. How far are we into this? Think Brady's going to be in Brady's actually going to be in good. Well, Tom Brady, man, that's a rough call. Fifth Iowa How was he last year? I really didn't watch much football last year. Garbage. There you see Tristan Wirfs. Hmm. Not like average. Like, good old pack. Bruce Arians and Jason hmm. Light. They have their guy. Bruce is fired up. I can see maybe like uh, he wasn't feeling good last year. He has a bounce back season. One good season. One good Brady season, one shitty Brady season. Maybe I just think that because that's how Peyton Manning did. She makes sure the kids are good. She makes sure the I mean, like one is safe and sound. Acceptable and NFL player good. season. Less Maybe not spectacular. <laughs> he's going to have a lot better. Do you think he's going to be better than James? I got it. For everything that you've done for oh, yeah. me and the kids. I mean, he's not going to throw a 30 interception. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think they would let him? Oh, I mean, they let Jameis, they're going to let Brady. Now, more than ever, her love keeps you Who's safe. Back up in, in Show Tampa her how much she means to you. Blaine the Gabbard. From the oh, wow. So, coach. no, like, make Happy a pull the leash on him. From K. I could see them letting Gabbard play. We're at the movies and we need how to old is Gabbard? Where that is. I don't have sex. <laughs> Everyone does, right? It happens to all of us. We I mean, he was the backup of the What I do? With no, new over Very there. fair. Was that an adjustable spanner? Good choice, Steve. Yeah. So is it all still going according to chalk? Don't get Pretty much. Get and get more we still haven't seen CD Lamb. Yeah, but the 49ers Welcome back to the there. draft. I'd kind of like to see what he does with Garoppolo. Trying to figure out the draft, and Microsoft Teams is proud to play. One of the big moves the San Francisco 49ers did so last small. year was trade. Late in the season like for a man I have no idea until like he eight seconds after I see the people. And there was Oklahoma wide receiver C.D. Lamb. Some 
consider him to be the best wide receiver. This lady just looks like a boob and a leg class, to me. Henry Ruggs was the first to go. And now we're looking at Jerry Judy. Our own Todd McShay says Jerry Judy is the best route runner at a wide receiver he's seen in all his years of studying film. So could San Francisco be looking that here like at a, a wide chill place receiver to, hang. to replace uh, like what they lost table. in Emmanuel? Michael, what do you oh. think? If it's one of these two, which one do you like better? Okay, this is what I love, Jerry. I talked about the diversity Not going of to play wide anymore. receivers. And we're talking about now. Jerry Judy. This work from the you know that's about 60% in the team. Team. Lamb went to the 17, Oh, really? The, yeah, the, 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 the Broncos? Like, it's all about what San yeah. Francisco needs. Did he got right the Lamb. And, uh, all right, we'll see what happens uh, there. Uh, and again, you who's throwing in there? John Lynch. They're clearly enjoying Your this lock. virtual draft, I think, more than most people are. But again, San Francisco plays in the toughest division, argue. Let us see what San Francisco did. I bet they, they don't take one any of that. Back so Tampa could San Francisco 49ers select. Javon Kinlaw, defensive tackle, South Carolina. Well, perhaps another surprise, but Javon Kinlaw is one hell of a football player. Story oh, is also amazing. Are, but what you need to know about him mm. is how he grew up. He split time between his mother one and father in Goose Creek, player. South Carolina, oh, as well this, as this in Boston, too. And he spent some of that youth homeless in the nation's capital where he would ride the metro because either Damn. it was colder but than it we, was inside all... or hotter than it was outside. And he has been a remarkable story. Yeah, about the things that he went through as a kid. Yeah, and Washington. To, and That's how rough. He was over dead bodies <laughs> to get to where he lived. Todd McShay said he showed up at the The story Senior does Bowl, not didn't even work out. sound happy. And didn't Until now. play, rather, made a bunch of money. Oh, that's a nice and house. There you see Who's the that? action of his father. Javon Kinlaw is now a member of the San Francisco. Here we got to his father's yeah, house. Yeah, sure. Absolutely remarkable. Booger, his story is incredible, as is what we Booger. saw on the field in South Carolina. It's <laughs> awesome. Without a doubt. You talk about the rich getting richer. He reminds me a lot of Richard Seymour. Long, <laughs> I don't think he's big, rich, but it's whatever. It's powerful. And the San Francisco 49ers are going to love it. Can he play with leverage? When you're a tall player, you got to be able to play with leverage, extend your arms. The guys that I played with a long time ago, Richard Seymour, doing the same thing. Defensive lineman, being able to use both hands to control the offensive lineman. Javon Kinlaw showed outstanding. You know, just like Richard Seymour, long arms, long levers. He can do it inside. Oh, really? Did they didn't think it was going to take over. Yeah, they didn't think it was going to take over. Now they get the Javon Kinlaw mail and this defensive line. Five, six, five, three of them for you, Justin. Was three, four year early on, managed his way, got it down to three. Oh, wait, four. hold on. Go Played through a hip injury in 2018. <laughs> this past year, first five, six games, he was dominant. Actually, five sacks in the first six games, only one the rest of the way. And that's where Derek Brown, week in and week out, was a start. Then teams adjusted, Ooh. and he wasn't quite as much of a factor, but he's got their team that likes to build it John front Singer. to back, inside out, on the defensive side of the football. Now, I'm glad to see him run around the field. Just put hey, the guy 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 and that's well, to get the well, win at well. the end of the day. Well, well, that's something well, I want to well, be part of. Guess what, Javon? Views. You are a part of it. Javon Kinlaw, now at San Francisco 49. Don't forget we'll about the 30 seconds for quick work. Oh, the- yeah. And if we weren't Thank able you. to stream anything, better I think they'd better be better in your ears. We are all happy with YouTube TV. Music uh, plays uh, a huge role. This is very disappointing. That's how we feel. Also, I do think we how far is that lady sitting from the Cherry Cherry Super Bowl? Oh, this shit. is CD Lamb. He's <laughs> great here. He's oh, yeah. Look, she does not look happy. Yeah, look how right? far because away they are. You build We're getting text messages in from CJ. I was thinking that you don't help in a, in a part of the guy you'll see twice. But yeah, look at this a lady. CJ says twice. she does not look happy. Uh, and Mel, in the draft at 17, are you surprised Lamb Mike is still there? Mike McCarthy. He looks like that. Inside 50% of his production, outside 50%. DJ mentioned Dallas. I had Lamb going there in a mock earlier, uh, one of the earlier mocks. Obviously, I go with Lewis with Xavier McKinney. Love him as a football.
football player. Antoine Winfield Jr. is obviously a kid, playmaker at Minnesota. They need a, maybe a center at some point. Oh, oh fuck, what's going, going on here? Dallas, We're watching some, um, some true machinations. There's a lot of ways this team could go, and this is a team that CJ says that the Cowboys took CD. We have As CJ in early ahead of the draft. That offensive line that we looked at from a few years ago is not the strength that it was, but the pick is in. TD Lamb. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oklahoma. Huzzah. Well, Dak Prescott just got another weapon to throw to, and CD Lamb, first full name, is Sidney. Huzzah, that's my favorite. He's trying out fourth grade football. And the coach couldn't say Sedarian, so I said, I'm just going to call you CD. Podcast favorite, CD. Chain in honor of his uncle, Chester Ramirez, who passed away on a business trip uh, when he was in China a few years ago. Was. But CD Lamb is a big play way to have it. And there you see the reaction. No CD Lamb no is reaction at all. Horn here. Michael Irvin, we're talking about a player at Oklahoma that was a big play almost all the time he touched the ball. Yes, he is. Uh, a train. And this is a, a perfect, perfect kick for the Dallas Cowboys. I know they wanted to shoot up the defense, ah. but they know that I know that talking to them that Lamb was the first receiver they had on their board. They would have to snatch him up. Let me tell you what's great about this, because you know they got Amari Cooper. He can play in that slot position that was vacated. What's that, CJ? He played How he 70% outside draft. last season, 30% in the slot. But he had productions from both spots. Seven touchdowns outside. How do you grade the six, Seven CJ? TDs from that slot, Mel. So he can play in the slot. Make that big hit. Hold on to the football. Uh, knows how to find an open area in that defense. Obviously, come out of Oklahoma. They steam to get it. Lincoln Riley is happy. Another Damn, Lincoln Riley's got a nice setup. He ranks first at OU with 24 career CJ uh, says that the Cowboys need it. Defense, but it's hard to pass up CD. Congratulations all around. He's getting, is happy too. Michael's Stay happy up. too. Irvin is happy. I'm happy. Jerry Jones. 